Hey, what's up, guys? I got Steelbook unboxing here. This is obviously, I, don't, I mean, I wonder where this one's from, right? This is a Target exclusive, right? No, it's FYE exclusive. This is a gigantic sticker. I don't think I've, this is the size of a credit card. Look at this. I don't think I've seen one that big. I actually, um, <clears throat> well, I almost bought this online because there's only one FYE in my vicinity. In fact, it might be the one in the fucking state. Um, and it's about a half an hour's drive or so away from me. <clears throat> and I never go there because FYE is either expensive or stupid. Um, actually, I haven't been there in probably over a year. But anyway, I drove down, and it took me a while to find it. There was actually a small little section end cap of um, Steelbooks. And they had the their other exclusive, the Reanimator, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, House on Horned Hill, and something else. I forget. Um, I forget now. It doesn't matter. Um, oh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre one that I didn't kind of like as much. But this one I was looking for, obviously, because it's Halloween and I love Halloween. I'm trying to see if I can collect them all. All the steel books, if they can get them. Um, well, all of them. The first three is really what I wanted. And then maybe... No, I don't want any Rob... Hall Rob... Rob... I almost said Rob Halloween. No. Rob Zombies Halloween. That's... I'm not really a huge fan of those. The first one's okay. Um, anyway, whatever I was saying... Um, I actually went into store to buy this, and online it's thirty four ninety nine. This is thirty five dollars for no fucking reason at all. You'd think that maybe this had the four K or something, which I when I, I I wouldn't. I guess I wouldn't care that much as I have multiple copies of this, so I just wanted the steel book. But like thirty five dollars for a, a regular steel book for a was it five years old Halloween? Now this is the thirty fifth anniversary. I think it is. I think it is. Yeah. And to have it be $35 is fucking insane. In store, it was $24.99, which is still a little much. I would rather have $19.99 or less, but of course, what are you going to do? If I waited a month or two, maybe I could get it for $15, bucks, but um, no. Anyway, I got it. And I personally like this artwork. I think this is really cool. I like the oil painting type style and the, like, the, 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 the copperish look around the face and stuff. Not, I, I like it. I personally like it anyway. A lot of people dislike it, which I understand to a point, but this is the, I think, exact same artwork they used on the 35th anniversary um, Digibook that they released five years ago. Because that was five fucking years ago, apparently, because that was the 35th anniversary. 2018 is the 40th anniversary, and they're releasing the new film in about a month, which I cannot wait for. I might actually go see that in the theater never seen a Halloween film on the theater. Sounds awesome. Is that is that true, actually? No, I think so. Here is the backing. I'm sure it's the exact... There's nothing special about this at all. This is multiple releases now. I don't think anything special is on here. Yeah, 25 years later, Night She Came Home, TV version, TV version footage. Yeah, it's the same stuff. <clears throat> HD transfer surprise to approve by Sub Chopper Dean Kennedy. I thought there was a scratch. No, it was some glue or something. Is that going to fucking piss me off? It is a matte finish with kind of a slight sheen to it. It's a little a little bit shinier on the eyes, sort of, I guess, maybe. But yeah, definitely matte, not gloss. Which I'm, I'm noticing more and more that they release matte more often. It must be easier. Um, anyway. Here's the spine. John Carpenter's Halloween. I like the lettering and I like the color, the orange against the black. <clears throat> That'd probably have been better to have on the front, honestly. It's a nicer image. I actually just bought, uh, just this last week, I bought a screen print or a art print of this image, of this like little 18 by 24 poster. It was $100. It was the last one they had available, uh, signed by um, the artist. Um, forget the name now. Maybe I'll show it, unboxing of it, whenever I get it, because it's expensive. And I actually, I'm having second thoughts about buying it, so maybe I'll sell it or something, I don't know. Anyway, well, I don't know. I'll keep it. It's a pretty cool image. What am I talking about? Anyway, I don't see any dents or scratches or spine slashes or anything, so I guess I got lucky this time. It's black, too, so those ones usually ended up being really dented and shit or stuff, so it's actually mostly black, so I don't think there's any, nope, there's no, um, digital copy. And yeah, this is the exact same disc. 35th anniversary edition. 
Well, I guess that's kind of cool, rather than just a blank background. I think it would have been nicer if this was over here, but I guess behind the images, behind the disc is kind of cool too. Like that. Oops, shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dropping things. This is now the... How many do I... Oh, I have three? Four copies of this? The Steelbook in the Screen Factory pack. I have a... Um, uh, one, well, do I still have it? Maybe I don't anymore. Maybe I sold it. Maybe I just have the two now. I did have a just a regular edition, you know, the original like two, 2008 version that I had bought a slipcover online a long time ago, uh, like specifically made. Maybe I don't have that anymore. Actually, you know what? I don't think I do. So never mind. Just have the two. Yeah, I think this is a pretty cool image, personally. It's very minimalist, I suppose, but uh, I think the coloring or the, the painting is nice, personally. This is still obviously a better image, but in fact, this could have been a little bit bigger on the back here, maybe a little, I don't know, personally. Okay. Boom. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Oh, almost. Sure. That's fine. Okay, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll have more steel books and shit for you later in the month. I've got Solo coming. I've got Ant-Man and the Wasp. I think that's next month. But uh, i got a bunch of steel books that I've already pre-ordered. A bunch of shit. A bunch of fucking Screen Factory stuff that's coming up here, too. So be on the lookout. Lots of shit on coming on the way. Almost Halloween or Halloween month, anyway. And uh, so, yeah, this is awesome stuff coming up. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again next time. Uh,